Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this physics video tutorial, we want to solve this problem. And the problem reads, show that whenever a plane mirror is rotated through theta, the reflected ray is rotated through angle 2 theta, provided the direction of incident ray is kept constant. So we want to see, by the time you rotate this mirror, if it will give this 2 theta, that's exactly what we want to derive all right so what we need to do first is to have a schematic representation of this information let's take this as a plane mirror all right so in this plane mirror would we'll indicate it like this so that when you see this you know it is a plane mirror and then we have the incident ray and light force on this play mirror. Uh, we know that it will reflect in the direction of incident. So let's have this to be our eye, which is the incident ray. And this should be our arrow, which is the reflected ray. And it will form a normal. It will form a normal here. Line. So this is the normal end. All right so outside that we know that this point is the angle of incident angle of incident and this other is the reflected angle all right so now if you rotate this mirror like this then let's have the diagram it means from this point we have Okay, so here is also a plane mirror that has been rotated. So in this case, you have this point to be theta. And then, of course, this angle must be equal to this angle. That is vertically opposite angle are equal. When you have something like this, vertically, if here is theta, here must be theta. The reason is vertically opposite angles. All right, so we've rotated this mirror that has x and y and this is the rotation point where we have this to be equal since it is also a plane mirror and then we have the angle of incident we will have that this will reflect towards this direction too so that means we have our arrow prime because when you rotate this this same angle of uh, incident we create this reflected angle and also create another normal all right it will create another normal here so we have that to be like this we can just make this n prime all right so let's start some derivative and this will be an angle of theta then it means that from this point from this angle of incident down to this point of a uh, normal this i will become i plus theta and then also from this point down to this reflected angle here will be i minus theta okay as if that was not enough if this angle is x degrees we want to find this angle and it has been given that here is 2 theta already so let's see why this angle is 2 theta so let's start the work right now so from this angle we have that angle from the diagram angle i is equal to angle arrow and of course from the uh, law of reflection we have that the incident angle is always equal to the reflected angle so if i is 20 degrees i arrow must be also 20 degrees so literally you could also say that angle i is equal to angle i 
all right because the incident angle is always equal to the reflected angle so you can represent it in this form okay so we have that uh, this angle i is also given as i plus theta and this will be equal to we have this one to be as for arrow which is same thing as this we have it as i minus theta we need to add it to this x plus x degrees you can make it any variable of your choice it's not a problem so at this point we have i plus theta equal to i minus theta plus x degrees so let's collect terms we have that i plus theta minus if this crosses we have minus i okay if this crosses we have plus theta and this will be equal to x degrees so of course from this point you know that i minus i will give zero so theta plus theta will give us two theta which equals to x degree so therefore x degree is equal to two theta so here we have proven that this angle will be two theta so that's all from me to you thank you very much for watching and i hope you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so by the time i upload the video you get notified and please like this video and share thank you and stay tuned for the next video